you're about to see a home that has the most amount of cabinets I've seen in a kitchen in a while. And then this is going to be a home for sale that sits on one of the largest lots available in this community. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but I don't think you should work with me as a realtor. And I'll explain that a little bit later. Today, we're walking through the 222G plan with Highland Homes. This is an inventory home for sale. It does have five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, plus a storage place in there. And we're looking at just over 3,900 square feet. Now this is an inventory home for sale, currently listed at 1.225 million. And as you can tell, right when we walk in, it's open to the second story. And like usual, we're gonna walk right out to the main living area and show you what I think is one of the main parts of this home, this wide open living area with sliding glass doors on the back. And then this kitchen that has so many cabinets and has so much great design work already completed in this home. And we will bounce back and forth between this home and the same plan staged as a model home. So if you're wondering what this looks like with furniture, stay tuned. I will show you that for most of the main rooms in this home. Focusing in on the kitchen and stating the obvious here, there are one or two items still remaining in this home because it's currently under construction. One of those is going to be the vent hood, which you see back there. It's not finished all the way up to the ceiling, but we will get there and I had to show you some of the design work that's here because what's already finished like this beautiful kitchen island is fantastic you have the waterfall countertop cabinet overlay on the outside and then this is what they're calling a hutch this is just the extension of the cabinets all the way down to the back wall which we'll go back there to get a closer look and then if you're wondering where the rest of the vent hood would be it's actually right there so that would be going up here they're going to actually install it in a couple days but i just couldn't wait to get out here especially with this home currently for sale there's so much great design work already completed and this backsplash with the under cabinet lights is definitely one of them let me know what you, what you think about this with all that movement in there and the colors uh, and then six burner gas stove uh, we're going to try to cover as much as we can in this home there are just so many different great design and structural upgrades and i'll do my best to cover them all here take a look at the veins that are in this island too there's a really good white and black contrast in this entire home it's not just the hardware you'll see cabinets are black with white countertops you'll see uh so much contrast from a design standpoint that's great and then again, if you are looking to see this home or this plan a little bit more furnished, we will walk you through a, a virtual walkthrough on their website of this as a model home, which is not located in Austin. It's located pretty far away. So uh, not something I have a video personally of, but I'll walk you through that virtual walkthrough later on in the video. Now this is gonna be the breakfast nook area or what they're calling dining on their site. Uh, but there's a separate formal dining area. And again, I'll show you this as a model home. I believe they fit a six seater table in here, uh, even with the cabinetry extended, which you'll see in the model home as well. Before we head outside to the patio, because I'm excited to show you that and how large this lot is, uh, because we're, we are sitting, uh, according to the MLS, on a third of an acre. Uh, you know, first the living room opens up really well. So you have the fireplace in the corner, so it doesn't take out any windows in the back wall. Upstairs, you're gonna see a game room loft area with three bedrooms. Uh, this is gonna be a floor outlet in the living room. This is often forgotten in a lot of inventory homes. And it drives me crazy because a lot of people who are looking to put in like recliners and uh, you know, put in like lamps on the side tables next to their couch it's really difficult to plug those in if you're not gonna run wiring to a wall. It's just a tripping hazard in your living room, which probably has a lot of walkthrough traffic during the day or definitely when you have people over. It's great to have that floor outlet and it's even better that they already have it in this inventory home because it's not something you wanna do aftermarket, ripping up concrete and your floor. Uh, let's head outside from here. Uh, I want to just show you this amazing patio. You saw the windows that were already there on the interior. So it really opens up to this amazing space where you have very tall ceilings. You even have a fireplace on not this side, but the other side. If you don't wanna use those sliding glass doors to get out, you saw a separate patio door to do that. 
Above this fireplace, you see an outlet for a TV. So again, this is Highland Homes thinking ahead of how would a homeowner utilize this space. And that's why I like walking these homes and post them because they keep doing things that buyers want. And this is also what buyers want, a huge backyard space. So this is in the 90 foot wide section in a community called Santa Rita Ranch. It's a master plan community in Liberty Hill, Texas. Amazing community. They're building out their third amenity center inside of this neighborhood. It's so active, so lively, and there are beautiful homes like this built by builders like Highland Homes. And that's why I love coming out to this area. Your dollar tends to go much further than other communities south of here. And there are so many options in this neighborhood. And by the way, if you're wondering, is there always gonna be dirt back there? I'm not sure what they're doing back there, but there, I saw a lot of mounds of dirt. Uh, by the way, this is me pointing up at the sun because it was such a beautiful day. <laughs> I just had to do it. Uh, but I think they're doing some work back there. I will look back at my notes because I actually have two clients under contract on this street. One of them backs up to that same green belt back there. So I'd have to look back at my notes on what the builder told me on what's going back there. But either way, great home and great neighborhood. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video. Let's first get back to the plan. And what I wanna to head to next is the primary bedroom and bathroom. And then by the way, when we come back to this main living area, I will show you that separate dining room and then go to the images of the model home. So we'll do a virtual walkthrough of that home stage so you get a better feel of how this looks staged. And I'll come back to this primary bedroom as well, which has an extended primary suite, which is what they're calling it on this side. This is, gives you that bump out where I think it just gives you a little bit more room to maybe put like a, a chase on this side or something similar. I think your bed would go right around here. That's why they have that electrical outlet up top to hang a TV. And uh, overall, love the ceiling height in here. And I like how it opens up to this spacious primary bathroom where you have vanities on either side. You have a huge window bringing in a lot of natural light. The freestanding tub is more of the focal point. And then again, I love the contrast they did here with design where you have this black tile that has some white veins in it. You have lighter countertops with the light cabinet color. And then wait till you see the walk-in shower and how well it opens up because it's just so much glass to keep it open to the rest of the bathroom. And there is a closet around the corner here, but before I get there, I want to show you this extension of the countertop. So I actually have a lot of homeowners who want to ask for this. Uh, it's not something I would use, but I know my wife would love something like that. And I'm actually thinking that's not something I usually see in a lot of inventory homes or this like dramatic of a design. Like take a look at this tile work where they kept the shower different, where the floor tile was light. And then that same floor tile in the bathroom is on the walls. And this is that contrast that I was explaining earlier. And then this is that walk-in shower where it's still very open to the rest of the bathroom. A lot of natural light coming in. Obviously those doors are open to the bedroom, but we, of course just keep those closed when you're showering or in your bathroom. But I think for the rest of the bathroom to be open to that shower is fantastic. Now this is gonna be a look at the primary closet. That door on the right side actually leads to your utility room. So you don't have to lug your laundry through the house. You can just use that door. Uh, and some pretty good built-ins here. Uh, I would say that this part was a unique part of the closet. Usually we just see a shelf and rods, which is what you're seeing on the rest of the walls. And then we will come back around to this utility room so you have an idea of where it is in the home, but I wanna exit through where I entered. So one last look at this primary closet and then let's head out to the rest of the first story. And there's so much that we still need to see here. So there is a study downstairs. There's a second bedroom with an in-suite full bathroom, a uh, powder bathroom, utility room, which we're about to see again. And then I I'm excited to show you upstairs too. There's a bedroom at the end of this video that is very unique and that I found a lot of people are asking for something similar to that and i'll talk about that later on in the video this is going to be that same utility room that we saw through that primary closet doorway i love the tile that they did in here uh that, that this side would be where your washer and dryer would be and then opposite of that is going to be some cabinetry with a sink they did both uppers and lowers in the utility room which is something that we really don't see too much in inventory homes Cabinetry in the utility room is not difficult to do after market. So I do have people that 
get quotes from the builder, but if it goes out of budget, if they're at design, and they're building this home from scratch, then usually it's one of the first things to just take out uh, and just do aftermarket. Opposite of that utility room is going to be the dining room. And this is that same area that I was telling you about that's difficult to imagine when it's just an empty room. So I wanna show it to you staged. Here it is. So here's a look at that same dining room with some differences, like the light fixture obviously is different. They don't have cabinetry on this side. I think they left this open just so you could do what you wanna do here. Like you might wanna just put lower cabinets in and maybe some artwork here or put in a wine cabinet like they did with some open shelves. But either way, it's so nice to see this home staged because it really gives you an idea of what's possible. Like take a look at the living room here and I'll go a little bit further in where there's some good seating. Um, this is a, a good look at that side wall with a TV on it. Fireplace looks a little bit different in the current home that we're in. But take a look at this kitchen. The kitchen looks amazing. I like this look with just kind of like the light brown cabinets uh, and the white countertops. But I also like that white and black contrast that we're seeing in our current home. Let me know what you think in the comments. And by the way, this is what a finished look of a vent hood looks like. Uh, and also let me know what you think about this. This is going to be a double oven. And uh, you know, I I'm not the tallest person, but I think I can reach this microwave. I'm actually thinking about my wife for people that are a little bit shorter, you know, let's say around five feet or a little bit over five feet. It might be a little bit tough. You know, that's kind of getting to this top uh, middle rack of the cabinetry and that double oven kind of pushes that microwave up. But either way, if you uh, bake a lot, I think that that's a pretty good upgrade to have. And then I think I told you six seater table possible in the nook area, uh, breakfast nook area. Here's a good look at that. And what's funny is I just realized they did a two-tone cabinet in this model home with brown on the bottom and white on the top, which I think looks fantastic. And then before I let you go, I just wanna show you the primary bedroom. It's actually just walking this home with somebody and they were saying they weren't sure how this would look like or, or what would fit in here. And here's a good look with some pretty big uh, nightstands, bed in the middle. I mentioned a chase possible on this side. Yeah, they put a two cushion couch in there. So I think that that makes sense. But either way, uh, this looks so different with just the blinds and the curtains. Forget about the furniture, just look at the curtains and how much it draws your eyes upward in here. And that's why I like seeing these homes more realistic as an inventory home, but also the model homes to get a good gauge on how these homes look. Back to the video. I'm really glad they had that Matterport walkthrough on their website. It really helps visualize this space. And then what they actually had in this inventory home, you didn't see in the model home either. So they do have a doorway here into some garage space. So if you needed a separate access into the garage, you have that here. And then that door would actually take us out to a breezeway, which would go to a one car garage. But I don't wanna focus on the garage right now. There is another entrance that I think you would primarily use rather than this one that would be in your dining room. Uh, so we'll get back to that in a second. Um, getting back to the front door here and covering the rest of this first story, this is going to be the mud bench that is just outside the two-car garage entrance. And again, I like the black and white contrast that they did here. Nice to break up those white walls and they just made that black. And then this is going to be access to a two-car garage and that same storage space we were just in is on the right side there. And I'll go there in a second and show you the one-car garage. Just so you know, this ladder isn't always down. It's just a way to access the space that's above your garage. And a lot of builders are required in a lot of cases by code to have different access points into your attic. And so at the end of construction, there's a lot of people going up and down there, you know, fine tuning things and such. Now that one car garage is accessible from the outside of your home. And I believe when I first walked in here, this was locked. Uh, let me double check. Yep, still locked. Okay, so it's a one car garage. I don't think it's much that you needed to see here, but what I love about this is that's a good look at how big your side yard is. And this is what's possible when you get into these very wide lots. Uh, the typical lot size for these is 90 foot wide, and that allows for a one car garage extension in a lot of cases. Now, I don't want you to think every 90 foot wide lot is, is, is the same. Sometimes they just say it's in a 90 foot wide section, but it might be a little bit less, might be a little bit more. 
but for this one obviously they were able to get that one car garage in there so that's front facing to the street and then the two car garage is side facing moving on let's get back to the front of the home and actually before we get there i don't want to miss this powder bathroom which i think is in a good position you know right across from the stairwell and, and very accessible from the main living area obviously for guests who are possibly visiting uh, one thing to keep in mind the other bedroom we'll see later on on the first floor uh, does have an in-suite full bathroom but before we get there uh, this is going to be a look at the study i like the french doors leading out into the study with uh, the glass inside the door uh, good amount of room i would say in here uh, this is also available to see in their virtual walkthrough that's on their website so you can see that stage and then what i like about this plan which is very unique they have a media room downstairs and this is why they have the walls painted in a dark gray color and one thing to make a note here is when i was in here compared to what i was seeing in the video the lights on the walls were definitely not that bright when you're here in person the lights were definitely like softer and then the walls made the room feel darker and they obviously do that on purpose it's a media room you saw even an outlet above my head where you you could put a projector it's already pre-wired for speakers and so I think that as a hangout area, especially after a long day of work, and you just want to hang out, watch a game, you know, watch a movie, or the kids want to watch something or anything, it's just nice to go into that room. Everything's very dark and uh, just perfect for a projector or a TV setup. And then across from that media room, entertainment room, we do have the second bedroom downstairs. So if you recall, there are five bedrooms. That's two downstairs, three upstairs, this does have a walk-in closet, which you see here. And then th if you notice, there isn't a door right outside the bedroom, it's it's right outside the bathroom. So that's because they wanted to make this in suite. So you have privacy in both areas, both your bedroom and the bedroom within, and the bathroom within your bedroom. And then I think this was intelligent. They did a walk-in shower here with the mud set, uh, which means they could put tile there instead of an acrylic pan. I like how they put the tiles on the walls all the way up to the ceiling. And I think that that's great, especially for resale as more and more people look to buy homes where they can house maybe parents or somebody elderly uh, on their first floor without going up and down the steps, they can house them in their home. And I think that that's really important for buyers these days. Speaking of those steps, let's head upstairs and we have still lots to see uh, but we are winding down, I think, into the second story. Again, a lot of the square footage on this plan is actually on your first story. Lots of rooms there, still very open concept, but still a good amount of room up here. It's very open concept where you see railings all around us. This is going to be that game room loft area. I like how they have a sitting area in the back where they have a bench where you could put a cushion down. And then like I mentioned before, still very open. So we're looking down into the living room and of course the kitchen on the left side. And then behind me, it looks down into the front door. I wanna take one last look at that bench area. I think this is very cool uh, to have. It, it just makes rooms feel bigger, especially when you have like a cushion here and curtains and blinds make all the difference. It makes these homes that are in their last stage of construction look more finished and look more like a home. And then this is interesting. This is actually unconditioned storage space. I know it's unconditioned because there's no ventilation in here. And unless that green tag is to cut out a vent, I don't think it's going to be ventilated in there. So that would just be a storage spot. And while we walk through this bedroom with an in-suite full bathroom, I have to tell you that space reminded me of something that I have to explain because I just had a closing recently where the construction manager was doing a final walk with myself and my client. Uh, and he mentioned for unconditioned storage space, keep the door locked. And the reason why is kids like to think that if they're playing like hide and go seek, that that's a great hiding area, which is probably fine through most of the months of the year. But in the summer, that area will get very hot when it's unconditioned. And so usually you can just keep that door locked as the same key as the house key in a lot of cases. And probably a good idea if you have unconditioned storage and also explain to your kids, not a good hiding spot. Definitely stay out of there. Uh, this is going to be a look at the in-suite full bathroom that's up here. Um, what's funny is on their website, I think they mentioned it's five and a half bathrooms, but I, I have four and a half and it's because the other bathroom here 
is a Jack and Jill full bathroom in between two bedrooms. And while we go through these two bedrooms with the full bathroom in between them, I do want to mention and clarify something that I, I said at the beginning of the video, which is I am a realtor in the central Texas area, but don't work with me as a realtor. And to clarify, what I mean by that is a lot of realtors, whoever, whoever calls them and is interested in real estate, they try to take on and they try to chase after everyone. And that makes them travel all around the city and run around not providing high quality, but providing high quantity for their business. And I saw that pretty early in my real estate career years ago. And that's why I always focused on how can I provide the highest amount of value for clients? And that means not taking everyone on. And so what I do for people that are even looking at other cities like Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio, or have different criteria around the Austin metro area or here in central Texas, I connect them with a great realtor partner who is specialized in the criteria that they have for their home search. And so I guess the point I'm trying to make is reach out to me and either way I'll take care of you, whether that's with me or being upfront and honest with you and referring you to one of my great realtor partners. Getting back to the walkthrough here, this is gonna be that Jack and Jill full bathroom. So that's one sink on one side. That's that same doorway that I open from the bedroom. So you can access this bathroom from the bedroom. You can also access it from the hallway. So if there's any guests up here who need access to the bathroom, they don't have to walk through a bedroom to get there. And then that same Jack and Jill, uh, there was the Jack and this is the Jill. <laughs> this is the one sink with that doorway leading to the commode and bathtub. And then earlier in the video, I told you the last bedroom we walked through is unique. It's because they have what they're calling a sitting room. So on one side of this bedroom, like this side, you could put your bed here, or you could have like a desk uh, or like a small couch and maybe like a TV. And then on the other side of bed, bed, there's definitely some options here. And there is a virtual walkthrough that will so show this bedroom stage, which will give you some ideas. And then right in front of us is a lot that is currently available on the street. I think it's one of two lots that are available, but everything else is finished. So if you are even looking to build this plan or other plans with Highland Homes from scratch, uh, reach out to me. My information is in the description of this video. Like I mentioned earlier, if I think your criteria is a better fit for one of my realtor partners, I'll connect you. But if I think it makes sense for me, uh, I've worked with 18 different builders in the last two years. So if I do think it makes sense working with me, I'll tell you my experience and what I've done for past clients and then see if we can work together from there. Now, if you did wanna see another walkthrough of a model home with Highland Homes, click on the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care.